When homeowners hear earth movers, they see dollar signs. I just don't see the feasibility of spending all this money. Gail Cherry lives on Forest Hills Drive along the Williamson-Davidson County line. She and neighbor Jim Kennedy are upset about this. Brand new road. Can you believe that? Another brand new road. TVA built the first one. Piedmont's building this one. Same spot. Yeah. A year apart. Does it really make sense that they're building this road? TVA put in the first service road after mudslides unearthed its tower. To stabilize it, they needed access. At the same time, Piedmont was working on plans for a new 14-mile natural gas pipeline here. They, too, needed access. TVA, when they got through using the road, they tore it up. It sounds like uh, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing. What a waste. So Fox 17 went downtown to Nashville attorney Jason Holloman, who's representing landowners who fought the pipeline but lost. Obviously, um, where there's an opportunity to share expenses and do that work at the same time, that's good for cost for ratepayers, and that's also good for the property owners who limit the amount of time that, that they experience the disruption. And that didn't happen here. TVA estimates its version of the road cost about $100,000. Piedmont says it doesn't even have an estimate. So Fox 17 went to an outside company, Earth Solutions, which estimates the road at a little over $105,000. The only reason Piedmont is even on this piece of property is because TVA granted its right of way to Piedmont. So we know the two were in communication. TVA and Piedmont all these plans were on the drawing board for a long time. Tax dollars are, are not the concern of this um, uh, utility, and they're certainly not uh, the concern of, of TVA. So we told TVA many of the neighbors have named the road Deja Vu and asked why they didn't work with Piedmont to share. Well, as part of our, our stormwater permit, it, it spelled out that we were allowed to install a temporary structure and that we were, had to monitor the runoff off that road, and then as soon as it was complete, we had to take the road back out. Brooks also says at the time, some of the homeowners wanted the road gone as soon as possible. So we went to Piedmont. I understand that, I really do, but it's, it's the case of, you know, if we, had, if we had been able to coordinate, perhaps, but on the same token, this project's been a couple of years in the making, and we're just now starting construction. But that's not all. While looking into the duplicate road, I learned Piedmont put off satisfying a federal mandate addressing pipeline safety for more than 10 years. They have known that they needed to do something uh, at the time that that TVA project occurred. What's even more frustrating to ratepayers is this federal law that only requires Piedmont to check its existing pipeline for cracks, corrosion, and leaks. This mandate says nothing about building a new pipeline. If you have gas, you're paying Piedmont more money because they have to put in a pipeline that is not even needed. Piedmont's response? It's easier to build a new one. And you've got different sizes of pipeline that kind of prohibit or uh, make it very difficult to use this inline inspection device. So it makes more sense to build a whole new pipeline than to figure out how to get this device in the existing pipeline? Well, yes, it does. From the standpoint of uh, economically, from the standpoint of our system and the integrity of the overall system, putting this new pipeline in place is the best option that we have. A second pipeline, a second road. These neighbors are pretty certain who will pay for that. We get these little uh, add-ons on your bill. Hundreds of thousands of dollars being spent here in a, in a very wasteful way. And it's time for Nashville to wake up and say, enough, enough, enough. We need to stop this waste.